Hello, hello. Um, Leah from Jamboree. I had a classic experience last night where I went to a coffee shop and the barista who was actually serving me had noticed my handbag and I had naked nails. She said to me, wow, you do jamboree. And I said, yeah, I do jamboree. Have you tried it before? She said, yeah, I have. I had a customer come in and give me a sample one time. I said, oh, awesome. Um, did you, ha have you just used the sample or have you bought some or have you tried some? Have you, you know, and she said, no, no, I never saw that person again. And she told me her name and um, the girl's name is actually part of my team. And I thought, no, she hasn't followed up. She hasn't done any Barbara Block 222s or um, any of my reminding 222s. Follow up, follow up, follow up. It's the most important key. So I had got to talking to her and I said to her, um, so has she tried it and it, whatever, does she, how much does she like it, blah, blah, blah. I tried to suss her it out a little bit. And she said to me, I loved it. I love, 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 loved the sample. So I went and bought five more sheets. Five sheets, but off of eBay. Because she didn't know where to go, she didn't know what to do, she'd not heard of it before, she just had this sample given to her by a customer. The customer's name and the sticker and everything was in the bag, but she never followed up with the with the uh, barista, so she didn't she didn't want to she felt funny about contacting her and asking her for more info. So she started using them from eBay, but she didn't know how to remove them. Because, you know, we put instructions in when we give them and we, we give them an application video, but it doesn't actually tell you how to remove them. So she wore the first lot of nails and it went great. Brilliant. She loved it. Um, second lot that she wore, she picked them all off because they'd started fraying at the ends after about four days because from after discussing with her, they were probably overheated because um, she's using a hairdryer. She picked them all off or peeled them all off of her nails, didn't use nail polish remover, didn't use coconut oil or olive oil, and it damaged her nails. So now she doesn't want to come back. I said to her, you know what? Are your nails recovered? She goes, yeah, they are. Um, it was a couple of months ago. So I said to her, have you got your nails still? She said, yeah, I do. So I'm going to take in a mini heater for her to try, one of my spare mini heaters. I, I don't need her to spend more money or expect her to buy more products. But by overextending myself and helping her just that little bit, she's now going to either, one, love it again and become a customer because she still said she loved it, or two, she might sign up and become my jam baby. So, uh, you know, really, guys, get on this. Start following up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. Remember to do it. If you don't get their number, that's fine. But go back to the place where you've given the sample and follow up with that person in, in person. I mean, if you're going to a coffee shop or a petrol station or a post office or a supermarket and you have the same checkout chick or the same retail um, person every single time or, you know, you've seen them quite often, go back. Go back and talk to them again and again until they realize that you are that crazy jamboree lady. Check out my nails before I go. May Madness and June Host exclusive with Jukebox. Amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Bye, guys.